Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. <laughs> James doesn't know what a queef lord is, because <laughs> he lied in the dictionary. It's actually Cletus. He is the lord of all queefs. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Wait, your dog Cletus or you, the king Cletus? No, my dog Cletus. Uh, God damn it, I'm stuck here and I can't kill the fucking plant and I can't get out. What the shit? Oh my. How could I not walk over that? What the fuck? Was the camera messed up or something? I don't know. How the fuck did it let me in here? That's, uh, fucking dick nuts. You're fucking yeah, you're doing pain. All right, there I we go. I thought you're the one who knew this game. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, so early, uh, a while ago, I remember I, I told you I was playing this alongside this playthrough. I was playing <laughs> yeah. this in my spare time. I've stopped. I decided to start playing Metroid Prime 2 because I was like, eh, and this isn't my cup of tea. Maybe the sequel's better, and yeah, I gotta say, so far, I like the second one better. Oh, really? I mean, I, I took a break from playing it to play some Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze in my spare time. Yeah. Because I freaking love it. I, I, I've been on a, I haven't told you this, I've been on a Donkey Kong spree over the past week. I would believe it. Yeah, dude. Cause just based off of our conversations and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been like, dude, next on Royal Goose, we gotta play Donkey Kong Tropical yeah, Freeze. Like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta! And you're like, okay, okay, maybe just, just calm down, <gasps> calm down. I'm not gonna fucking calm down. I'm just gonna talk again. <laughs> and then he, he put a needle in me and calmed me down. <laughs> he injected me with something. You did. You're being silent right now on purpose just to make me feel awkward. And it's not working this time. <laughs> I'm looking Elliot straight in the eyes right now. We're like uncomfortably close to each other. He chickened out first, bitch, I win. I was not chickening out. You sure did. Bitch, I'll keep doing it. So I think I have to look left here. <laughs> I can't really see. Yep, see, he's he uh, he chickened out twice. It's not chickening. It is. No, I look him straight in the eye. We're basically touching nose. There's chickening and out, out, and then there's choosing to back out because you feel like it. Chickening out and <laughs> sounds like somebody <laughs> is worth a lot of good protein for dinner, and that is named James the Chicken Chicken. So um. <laughs> <sighs> trying to think. So, so Elliot and I, we haven't uh, seen each other in person in two weeks. So I'm trying to think. If it's been it, a hot minute. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything. Uh, God damn it! I'm trying. Okay, by the way, I'm just trying to get to this fucking door here, but maybe. <laughs> oh my god, dude! What the fuck? Oh, I can just know where hold you're going? right. Oh, oh my, god. my fucking god! It's so much simpler than you think it is, and it's so hard to figure out. Okay. So, Zio, what? Do you, before I talk about myself, uh, what have you been doing in the past couple weeks? Oh. I I hope you've got notes, because this is pretty long. Okay. Okay, so... And that's it. Uh, okay. Okay, I, I I'm you. not getting anywhere here, so I'm going to go in this <laughs> elevator, by the way. God, I wish a tip would just... It's 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 weird how the tips just pop up randomly. It's like you can't, you can't like, always have a tip on the map if you want to. Th then again, I guess that's not the kind of game this is. This is a game about figuring out where you're yeah. supposed to go, so that would kind of break it. That'd be whoa, like, that'd whoa. be like, a it heard you. It heard you. <laughs> what? It heard you. What do you mean? It's summoning me here. It's like, it uh -huh. sucks you can't have the tips, and then it's like, tips? <laughs> you want tips, kind sir? <laughs> um, well, I was gonna say, like, having too many tips in this game would be like putting a mini map in Banjo Kazooie. Can you imagine if they did that? That would ruin it. Uh, make it so, like, you would just. Maybe. Because then, like, it'd be like, okay, here's exactly where you need to oh, go okay. to find this Jiggy. Yes. There'd okay. be no exploration. Just having a mini map doesn't necessarily mean that there's a. Uh, it, it spoils where things are. Yes, I agree with you. It, it would ruin the game if it told you, like, here's where you go for this Jiggy. Here's where all the musical notes are. Yeah. Can you, like, because, like, they added a mini map in Banjo because doing nuts and bolts, and I know some people mm. were like, why, why is there a mini map? This. Well, it just kind of shows you where the challenges are. You still have to do the challenges. I it, think that's it's a why. different. It's not really a game about exploration yeah. anymore, so that makes sense. Oh, Oh, but there's something I wanted to speak about since you uh, took so long to talk about what you've done the past two weeks. Oh, uh, I remembered something else. Oh, yes? Okay, we're good. Fascinating. <laughs> um, have I ever told you I love your laugh? Oh, it thank puts, you. It puts a little hop in my skip when I hear you laugh. That's good. People tell me that they, like, they, th they just think I have a... <laughs> yeah, they think I have like a funny cackle. No, I like it. It's a, it's a Oh, no, I don't laugh. mean that in a bad way. They just... Yeah, like, no, it's funny. 
At least some people in my family tell me that. Well, like, just when I hear the word cackle, I, I think of like, like a witch. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of like, I just think of like, <laughs> like, a, and that's kind of what my laugh is a little bit. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, what, so, uh, a week ago I, I started working a brand new job. More, well, more like, yeah. more like two weeks ago. But yeah, so I'm working at this, uh, in this warehouse that, uh, they produce they produce sex bots and he has to test them. And and in addition to that, they also uh, produce they make food. I work in the potato section, so potatoes. Yeah. Potato, 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 potato. I like the potato. You like the tomato. I like the potato. You can have my potato. I'm gonna give you a potato. You can have my potato. But I think I'm done with potatoes. Irish potatoes. Ha! That's all we love. Potatoes. Uh. So I work there, and what I do is uh, I'm a low low risk worker there. So I, I stand in this. I'm basically working in a giant fridge all day, and it's it's a pretty easy job. Like like twenty percent of the time, I'm just standing around waiting for them to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, bitch. So yeah, what they I'm I stand in this cold room, and in the room next to me, uh, there's a bunch of people who are cutting the different kinds of potatoes and putting them in bags and sealing sealing them up and then marking which ones. Uh, which kind they are, and there's lots of different kinds. So okay. what I have to do is, uh, yep, I take the boxes and I put them on uh, these uh, pallets of wood, and I uh, have to tape the piece of paper on them with the correct order. So I have to uh, put them all together. Potato, 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 potato. So yeah, it's a pretty easy job. Uh, only two things that have really been a challenge. Uh, one Your is nuts freeze off in the cold room. <laughs> well, I have been in colder. So honestly, because you're lifting boxes all day, it heat you actually heat up really quick. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> so stupid. Th there's this weird rule where oh, no. this guy said, okay, sometimes like I c because you're in a freezer or, or a fridge all day, I come in with a jacket and, but once you lift boxes for a while, it's like, whew, I'm starting to heat up. Yeah. So I take my jacket off and hang it up, and this guy comes in and he says, hey, you're actually not allowed to hang it up there if you don't want to use your jacket you have to put it in your locker and i'm like that's the other side of the building so whenever i get too hot i have to run to the other side of the building put it in there and come back <sighs> so yeah <coughs> kind of sounds like a mountain out of a mole hole like no. not a big deal yeah it's not I mean, maybe... no no i'm saying like moving your jacket to your locker yeah but it's it's a trust me it's a really far walk oh, okay it, it's just inconvenient like how many minutes like at least, I don't know, probably like two or three. In okay. reality, it, it doesn't sound like much, but when you're in, if it's like during rush time where you have sure. to constantly be okay, there gotcha, and yeah. leaving it all would screw you up, it's like, no, I have to stay here. So I have to tie it around my waist, you know, okay, yeah. like the girlies do, <laughs> according to Dr. Cox on Scrubs, at least. Um, so, but, but anyways, uh, so... Um, like another thing is like I a lot of the people I work with they have really thick accents and it can be really hard to understand each other because of that and that can be frustrating but you know I, we all have to go through that sometimes goddamn people ain't speaking American yeah I'm James I don't like it when people don't speak American why can't they just choose to change how their voice sounds whenever they speak naturally yeah goddamn god I mean I could do it yeah, go damn. Yeah, but damn. I don't need to because I'm American, and yeah. America is the greatest country of all. That's yeah. right. So, but Goddamn um, America, son of a bitch. But I mean, I, I get along with my coworkers. Okay, but the final thing, I'm in a fucking fridge all day. It gets cold. Wait, are you in a fridge? It well, it's like a giant warehouse. It's like a freezer room. So I don't think you mentioned that. Well, it, no, I did. <laughs> You fucking freezer shit, I walk out. So, anyways. You said it like so many times that so it's pulling your leg. And you oh, didn't oh, did get I? it, baby. I said it a lot, did I? Yep. Okay. Not, well, not in a bad way. I, was, okay. I just knew I could make you uh, believe James, it. you're saying fridge way too... Okay, right, anyways. <laughs> no, I, just, I knew I could make you have a gullible <laughs> moment. Uh, I'm a gullible... Anyways, so what sucks is when you're working in a cold place the whole time, I discovered that my nose runs like a fucking waterfall. <laughs> And that gets, when you're having to lift boxes and you have to stay in the same location for a long time. Wait, your nose runs like a waterfall because it's cold? Yeah, because it's cold, dude. Because, I, like, and after a while, like, I'm I, constantly, yeah, okay, like, okay. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. when you have a crap ton of mucus in your nose and you can't go blow your nose all and the time. it's, like, not time for dessert yet, so you can't yeah. just, like, take it out and put it on your meal. Exactly. Yeah. But, so, yeah, it's super... That's super annoying, but Fucker. yesterday, Sorry. I came up with a solution. I'm a genius. 
I took, I decided to use the tampon approach. I took a, I took some tissue and I just shoved it up my nose and I didn't have to blow my nose or sniffle. It just kept it blocked up. And then once I'm done with it, I take the tissue out and it's covered in mucus and it's disgusting. But hey. You and know. that's when James's boss decided we're gonna have to have you wear a helmet inside that inside the doors at all times. Yeah, well, eh. but he's used to that at home. I taught him how. Oh, did you? I'm a tampon face. <laughs>